This example, I'm going to show you uh, what it's like to have a sex-linked trait. And so we're going to start with the male here, and we're going to do body color, and we're going to do Y. And we're going to select that for mating. And we're going to design a fly over here, and we'll just use the wild type female. And we're going to mate them. And you'll notice, well, we had yellow flies here, and we have here, and all we get here are um, regular flies. Well, okay, maybe this is dominant, but then what can we do next? Well, we need to mate these two, do our F2, and we mate these. Now, these are both going to be, what, heterozygotes, if, uh, if everything is working the way we think it is, and what do we get? Well, notice what we get here. Notice our resulting cross from uh, crossing the, uh, the two uh, examples of children flies, the males and females from, from the uh, parents, the, the children there. We get three types of flies. We get females, we get a lot of them. We get males and we get female, and we get two types of males. And what is this an indication of? Well, this of course is an indication that this is a sex link trait. And so we had to go to the uh, the F2 to see it, but uh, but you are able to see it. So let's now design a new one and let's switch it. Let's make uh, I believe, let's make the female the uh, the one that is um, yellow. All right, so the female is yellow and the male will be the wild type. Now what are we going to get? Now, all right, we get what? We get the males. All of the males, all right, here are what? Well, they are all yellow. It's, again, an indication of a sex-linked trait. So understand how this works. Uh, understand um, uh, when you select these, what's going on. And uh, once you get... Uh, a good feel for this and how this works uh, you shouldn't have any problems but you do need to determine whether or not your mutants are recessive dominant or sex linked that uh, that should be one of the first things you do when you uh, uh, in WA2